Welcome to a new question of the day. Most statistical tools we talked about until now involve the description of single variables or the links between a maximum of three variables at the same time. In a series of videos, starting with the one you're currently watching, we ask ourselves how to easily extract important information from data sets which include many variables. Exploratory data analysis tools will help us answer this question. Do you remember this scatter plot we obtained in a former video? We used analytic data from users of a shoe selling platform to plot invoice amount against time spent on the website. Each dot represents a customer colored according to origin. This single plot provided us with lots of interesting information. Invoice amount decreases with time spent on the site. Plutonians spend more money than the other customers. Two distinct behavioral profiles can roughly be distinguished, and so on. Exploratory data analysis tools will let us have the same kind of reasoning on multivariate data, which is to say, data involving many variables. These tools are what we refer to as data mining. There are two main families of exploratory data analysis tools, dimensionality reduction methods and clustering methods. Dimensionality reduction methods concentrate a maximum of information contained in your original data sets in a few synthetic variables. These variables can easily be investigated in the form of scatter plots, for instance. The most common tools you are able to find in this family are principal component analysis, correspondence analysis, factor analysis, and multidimensional scaling. Clustering methods, also known as segmentation methods, allow dividing your data into groups of similar observations or individuals. These methods include agglomerative hierarchical clustering and k-means clustering. If you go to the Excel Stat Help Center and click on Tutorials, you will find a section called Statistical Guides. Click on what multivariate data analysis method to choose, then scroll down the grid. Here you will be able to find an appropriate exploratory data analysis tool according to your question and data type. You will be able to find the link to this guide in the video description below. Now that we've defined the two main families of exploratory data analysis tools, upcoming videos will focus on specific methods. The next one will tackle principal component analysis. Stay tuned.